You're not getting it, Dale. I'm trying to tell you that all these deaths are related. Oh, I get it, all right. According to you, an uh, ancient evil devil horn is flying around killing law-abiding citizens. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? I, I'm just saying, there there's has to be a simpler explanation. Well, I didn't say they could fly. Try explaining this. symbols. I've seen them before. I saw the warden write them on the window of his truck just before he died. Dale, my autopsy showed that the warden's time of death was 8.35 a.m. yesterday morning. Meaning? Meaning he was already dead when you found him. Give me the horn, Janet. Dale, I don't think that... Follow me. Demon, your own holy designs will not bear fruit in this place. I rebuke you evil spirits in the name of the Lord, and I cast you out by the authority of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Your ungodly presence is not welcome here. In the name of the Lord Almighty, I hereby cast you back to hell. I need everyone's help. Repeat this with me. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. Again, in the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. In the name of our Lord Almighty, I cast you back to hell. Now, Sheriff, destroy it! relic must be at the old church or whatever's left of it. If you find it, be very careful and don't touch it with your bare hands. But bring it back to me. And detective, I want you to know that no matter what happens, it's been an honor working with you. Detective, be on the lookout for these objects.
getting a picture in my head, clear as day, of a Bible with a red cover that was very important to Pastor Roberts. Something he referenced often. Detective, I have more drawings for you. We're nearing the end of this, Detective. Please, be careful. Well done, detective. Meet me back at the motel with the drawings whenever you are ready. You did it, detective. Now let me take a look at the artifact in those papers, and we'll do a reading. It's a long shot. But maybe we can find a way to destroy it.
need to get it back. But how? Won't much matter if I can't get back inside. They'd never put me back into the same cell if I was caught. What? Oh. I see. Yes! He was writing some strange symbols on that train tunnel wall. That must be our last clue. Go, detective!
Magnificus Deimun. We have collected the souls that you require. Hasanimos Tibi, Puricio. Detective, you're too late. In a moment, we will all be worshipping Adramalach, King of Fire, Commander of Hell. We're here in the sub-basement level of the Shadow Lake Penitentiary, patrolling the solitary confinement ward, where the most dangerous criminals were kept isolated from the rest of the prison population. Kelly has been getting some insane EVP readings. The atmosphere is just charged with this oppressive presence. Are you feeling that, Kelly? Yeah. And it's really freaking me out. Can we go back up now, please? No. I want to do something. I want to try a radical technique to summon the spirits this time. Now remember, these dudes were hardened criminals. The only law they adhered to was a code of respect. Now with that in mind, I'm going to try to provoke a response by taunting them with remarks about their manhood. I really don't think that's such a good idea, Jack. Let's do this. Spirits! Listen up! I heard you were all punks and snitches. That you would rat someone out for a pack of smokes. Well, what do you think about that? <laughs> and I think you are hiding in your cells because you are afraid. And if that makes you mad, then why don't you come out here and do something about it? Come at me, ghost! Jack? Jack, do you hear that? There's something coming from behind this door. There's a noise. Help me get him out of here. 